Hi there, this is Phil working for Container Solutions. Today I want to talk about a very cool project that one of my colleagues has written, Mesos Starter. Martin has written this project to help us develop Mesos frameworks in an unbelievably quick time. Mesos Starter is a project that is based upon Spring Boot and uses configuration, not code, to create a Mesos framework. Today I'm going to talk you through the entire process of how to create a framework for Mesos from start to finish. Hopefully you'll see that this is insanely quick and compared to the amount of de development time we've spent creating frameworks in the future, what might be possible is to create frameworks just from configuration. So this is the website, container solutions slash Mesos Starter. That's on GitHub. This is a brand new project, so we're very keen on hearing people's opinions and thoughts and ideas. So please drop us a line if you have any issues. So let's start. We're going to use Spring Initializer to generate a simple project to begin with. Um, we're pulling in uh, the web dependency, the Spring Boot web starter, and that's because it's a requirement for the Mesos starter project. We're hoping to remove this in a subsequent version. I'm going to call it Sleep Demo, and this is my group. Okay, so let's generate that project. There you go. It's downloaded me a zip. I'm going to unzip that zip, and then I'm going to import that project into my IDE. I'm going to use all the defaults for now, uh, except that I'm going to choose 1.8 rather than 1.7. There we go. So that's going to pull in the project and start pulling in the dependencies. So the first thing we need to change is the POM. So at the moment we don't have the measles starter code in there. I'll just make that a bit bigger to make that a bit easier to work with. Let's move that over there. And here we go. So let's copy paste some Maven dependencies here. The project has got some really good documentation, so if you uh, want to follow any of these steps, then please visit the GitHub site. So I'm using Jitpack to download my dependency, and I'm also including the Mesos starter dependency there. Fantastic. Now I'm going to reimport those changes and then go to the code. So this is the fantastic bit about this demo. So I'm going to look at some code here, and this is the smallest amount of code that you have ever seen in a demo. It's one single line to make this whole application run. The only thing I'm going to do is go to an application.properties file and add some custom properties. So here are my properties. I'm going to walk you through them in a second when I've copied and pasted them. There we go. So the first one, spring application.name. Let's make it a bit bigger. There we go. This is required for spring projects, so we won't dwell on that. The Mesos framework name is the name that's going to be present in Mesos and also the name that's used for the Zookeeper state. The next three are more specific to Mesos. We've got the CPU and memory resources here and here. And then we've got the scale, which is the number of tasks that we want this framework to run as. So we're just saying run one task. That could easily be 10, 20, however many you want. Then we've got Mesos command. This is a property to specify what command we want to run. So here this could be uh, a command, it could be uh, a bash command, or it could be a docker image, starting a new docker image. It could be anything you want. Okay, so that's our properties done. So I'm now going to go across to my terminal and build that. Okay, the only thing I'm doing here is just skipping tests because we don't want to do tests, do we? Oh dear, I'm in the wrong folder. That would doesn't help. Sleep demo. Okay, I'm skipping tests and I'm doing a, a Spring Boot repackage. And that's just injecting the Spring Boot jars into the, the final fat jar that we're going to use. So once this has built, there we go. We should be able to find a jar. There we go. And this is our scheduler. So it's just produced us, it's just produced a scheduler. Okay, so now let's run. Uh, Mini Mesos to create a cluster. So Mini Mesos is another project that we work on and it creates an in-memory Mesos cluster to be used for unit testing, testing and just development purposes. So here I'm going to spin it up and then um, use my jar to connect to that cluster. So there you go. I'm running on OSX so it's uh, created a Docker machine and it's running in Docker. And now we're going to try and run our Java application. Okay, there we go. So these are a couple of um, options that are required at the moment. 
Um, these will get easier with time, I promise you. But basically all we're doing is specifying the, uh, the jar that we want to run and then we're telling it where the Mesos master is via Zookeeper. You see the Zookeeper address there. And telling it where the Zookeeper server is. Finally, we're adding some debug messages. Okay, let's run that. <clears throat> okay, and whilst that's starting, I'm going to go across to uh, my mini Mesos and bring up the Mesos window. Okay, there we go. And what we should see in a second, when this is connected, so there you go, it's just connected to Zookeeper, just registered, and there you go, there's a message saying creating task. So now when we go back to Mesos, boom, there you go. We've got a task running in Mesos from a scheduler with zero code, only a few configuration options, and all within a matter of minutes. So if you'd like to take a look at this, then again, please go to Container Solutions Mesos Starter, give it a try, let us know if you have any problems, and would love to hear some ideas um, for the future, because this is brand new, and uh, we want to ascertain what people are going to do with a project like this. So it would be really great to hear from you. Okay, thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye-bye.